Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A newly developed 3D printed silicone guide has been shown effective at helping to repair nerve damage. A team of researchers from the University of Minnesota, Virginia Tech, University of Maryland, Princeton University, and Johns Hopkins University created the guides, which are custom made for each subject, 3D printed to precise shapes based on the structure of the actual nerves into which they are implanted. The guides contain specially designed biochemical cues. When grafted onto damaged nerves, they help the nerves to regenerate. So far, this has only been tested on rats, but the results have been encouraging. A rat with nerve damage received one of these silicone guides and demonstrated an improved ability to walk within 12 weeks. Though it takes several weeks for the damaged nerves to regenerate, making the guides takes only about an hour total from scanning to printing. This study is published in the journal Advanced Functional Materials. Next up, neuroscientists in Ireland have published a major breakthrough in Alzheimer's research. It's been known for some time that the brains of Alzheimer's patients exhibit buildups of the protein amyloid beta. New research from Trinity College Dublin, published in the journal Science Advances, suggests that the buildup of this protein might be due to alterations observed in blood vessels that are part of the blood-brain barrier. The researchers believe the altered blood vessels could be interfering with amyloid beta being cleared from the brain. The next step in their work is finding methods of treatment which could clear amyloid beta from the brains of Alzheimer's patients, hopefully preventing the damage caused by this devastating disease. And finally, researchers in Massachusetts may have identified the cause of a racial disparity in cancer survival rates. Black women diagnosed with breast cancer in the U.S. are 40% more likely to die from their cancer than white women. Though socioeconomic factors are thought to contribute to this disparity, they can't account for all of it. Using the National Cancer Institute's Cancer Genome Atlas, researchers at the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center found that a particular mutation, designated TP53, was more common in the tumors of black patients than white patients. And they found other factors which suggested that black women are more susceptible to developing more aggressive tumors. If these findings are confirmed by subsequent studies, they could lead to the development of new treatments that target the specific types of tumors that disproportionately affect black women and help to close the survival gap. This study is published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. 3D printed silicone guides help to repair nerve damage, neuroscientists report a significant breakthrough in Alzheimer's research, and newly discovered genetic differences could help more black women survive breast cancer. That's the good news. Anything else?